In this video, we will explain some of the basics of creating or editing an FMEA in the Datalyzer FMEA software. When you start the software and log in, the Documents catalog will appear. In the Documents catalog, you click the button New FMEA in the File menu. The header screen of the FMEA appears and you can fill out the required header information. In this example, we select a process FMEA and enter some example information. In all fields where we have to enter users, we can select from the existing users. The users can be imported from Active Directory. We can select what format we will use for the FMEA. In the bottom of the screen, we can enter model information, so the catalog will be displayed based on a predefined model. When we are ready, we click OK. The empty FMEA sheet appears. The just entered header can be made visible by clicking the Show Header option in the View menu. We start an FMEA by entering a step number and a function. We can use the menu option New and select Add New Step Function. To improve readability of the FMEA, you can also insert comment rows before a specific step or we can hit the Alt and I hotkey to start a new step. The third option is to double click on the area where the first step should appear. The combination of step number and function are shown in one column, but when we open the cell, two fields appear. The first field will contain the step number and the second the description of the function. The step number is important because the FMEA can be sorted alphabetically on step numbers. The Step Function column and Functionality to Create New Steps is exactly the same as in the process flow. We recommend that you take large step numbers to make it possible to put step numbers in between. For example, 010, 020, etc. When the data is entered, you can press Enter or click OK to enter the changes. Now that we have a step cell, a new cell can be created in different ways. If you want to create a cell to the right, make sure that the step cell is highlighted with a blue border. Click on a cell to highlight it, then select Requirement from the File menu, or press Alt and R, or double-click on the area where the cell will appear. If we, for example, double-click in the area of a new requirement, the cell will be created, and we can enter the data. If you want to create a cell at the same level, you can select a cell and press the related hotkeys, or select from the menu option. In case of a step cell, you can also click on the area below the last step cell. A cell below the selected cell will appear. While editing a cell, you can use the standard Windows copy and paste functions to copy text to and from the clipboard. When a failure mode is highlighted, an extra item in the file menu and an extra hotkey are available. This is because both an effect cell and a cause cell can be created from a failure mode. With any cell highlighted, you can always view the relevant hotkeys for that cell by hovering over the menu icons. We will add some more data to extend the example. There are a few special columns in the FMEA. When you want to enter a severity value, you double-click on the severity cell and a predefined table appears. Select the value by clicking on a row in the table and click OK or double-click. In the same way, you can select a specific classification symbol. For occurrence and detection, there are also predefined tables available to select from. When a severity, occurrence, and detection are entered, the RPN and action priority value are automatically calculated and the background color indicates if action is required. When actions are established, they are entered in the recommended action column. For each action, the person responsible and the target completion date should be entered. If you double click on a responsibility and target completion date, cell, two fields appear. 
You can select the person responsible from the drop-down list and pick the target completion date from the calendar. A new action will be automatically added to the action list. When you double-click on an Action Taken Completion Date cell, three fields will appear. You can enter the action taken, you can select the completion date from the calendar, and you can mark the action as completed so it will be removed from the action list. Datalyzer FMEA allows you to copy a whole cell. When you copy a whole cell, all associated cells and cells lower in the hierarchy are copied as well. To copy a cell, select a cell and press Ctrl and C, or select the menu option File, and then click on Copy Selected Cell. Then select a cell to paste the selected cell to, and press Ctrl and V, or select the menu option File, Paste Cell. The cell will be pasted below the selected cell or as the last cell in the branch. You can also use this method to copy cells between different FMEAs. In the example, you can see we have two FMEAs open, and we can copy a cell from one FMEA to the other. Again, select the source cell and press Ctrl C, then select a destination cell in the other FMEA and press Ctrl V. If you want to reorder the cells, you can simply drag and drop a cell. Click on a cell, hold the left mouse key down, and move the mouse to another cell in the same column. If you move the mouse to the top half of a cell, the dragged cell will be dropped above the destination cell. If you release the mouse above the bottom half of the destination cell, the moved cell will be dropped below the destination cell. Cells can only be rearranged within the current branch. You cannot move the cell to another branch. Datalyzer offers a sort option to sort the consecutive steps in the flow automatically. Which column can be sorted this way depends on the template used. Dragging and dropping of cells in these sort columns is only possible if the sort column option is deactivated in the view menu.